I wanted to come on today and just share a little bit of my story, how I truly became a social media manager full time after being a hairstylist, um, not really having a background in marketing and kind of just jumping into a totally different life. So as you hop onto this video, make sure that you comment below, you say hi, let me know actually where you're watching from. That would be amazing. So I wanted to share this part of the backstory because about 10 years ago, if you haven't heard this part of the story, check out some of my videos before, but I was a single mom on welfare and I decided to become a hairstylist. And so I became a hairstylist and it was awesome, it was great. But the one thing that was really always challenging for me is I wanted to do something different or bigger or whatever. I love hairstyling. I still think it's amazing. That's kind of like why I secretly have good hair, I think, is because I went to school to be a hairstylist. Um, and so, you know, one day this client came into the salon and she wanted to get highlights. And that was my specialty was highlights. And so um, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm doing her highlights and she like looks at me and she goes, can you show me your tweeter? And I got kind of like freaked out for a second because I was like, wait, what? Like, what are you asking? And, you know, she was like, your tweeter. You know, my husband and I just bought this uh, chicken company down in the Southeast of the United States. And I was like, okay, um, so what about my tweeter? And, and I finally realized she was talking about Twitter and she needed some support with social media. And I was like, okay, you know what? I think I can help you. I'm not an expert, but I've been using social media to grow my clientele. And so I started kind of like um, putting it together that they needed some help. She wasn't an expert at all. I wasn't an expert, but I knew that I could help her like navigate how to set up their Facebook, how to set up their Twitter, how to set up their Instagram. And so I went to their house one day and started supporting them and literally on the spot, they were like, we want you to be like a consultant for us in social media and marketing. Do you want to be like our digital marketing consultant? And I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so crazy. Like, yeah, I think I want to. And I actually went home that day after that meeting and I was like, to my husband, Paul, I said, I think this is it. I think this is the thing that's going to be like my passion. I love this. This was so powerful. And so literally um, that started a, an obsession like this. I want to learn. I want to, I don't know everything about social media, but I want to learn how to support people. By the way, if you're watching this now, comment below and let me know, like, are you a social media manager? Are you an entrepreneur? Are you working full time in a nine to five? Tell me like where you're at in your business and your life. That would be really helpful for me to understand kind of like how to tweak this. Cause yes, this is actually really live. Um, um, hey, watching from Atlanta, awesome. Okay, so um, I was like, I think this is the thing. And so it sounds really crazy, but I started looking for jobs as a, a digital marketer. And I was like, is this something I can actually just jump into? I don't have a degree, I'm a college dropout. Um, I don't have any real experience besides like setting up my social media on my account. And so I started looking for jobs and crazy, this crazy thing happened. I started applying for jobs, started going in for interviews. A lot of them were um, total scams because they were pretending like they had a job, but it was secretly like network marketing. Not that that is a scam, but the fact that they made it sound like they had a full-time job for me. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, it's performance based. You have to go door to door. I was like, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like a real job in marketing. And so I went into this agency and they were like, you know, do you do copy? And I was like, I do, I do copy. Um, now, meanwhile, in my head, I'm freaking out because I'm like, I don't know what copy is and I can't believe I just said that. But by the time I start this job, I'm gonna be amazing at copy. And so literally, like as soon as I got home, I went on YouTube and started searching like, what is copy? And I learned as much as I could about copy before I actually got the job. And so I jumped in and it was actually like uh, lead generation through email marketing. It was kind of a crazy role. Um, it was like borderline, like breaking some can spam laws, but I learned a lot during that season of life. And so what was really interesting though, is from there, I was like, okay, this isn't quite what I had pictured when I thought that I would go into marketing. I wonder if I can get a real job in marketing. And so I looked for new roles. I was like, okay, who's hiring? Um, and it was actually on LinkedIn that I found my next full-time position in marketing. And that was at a tech company, Marketing Network Hardware. And so I came in and I interviewed and I got the job and I was so excited. 
but there was a, there were a couple different issues that came up throughout that time and i don't know if this relates to anybody but my kids were sick um, i was also you know like working through my own depression and self-sabotage and so i was missing some work and one day i got called in and i got written up and i was like what the heck like i don't want to be stuck in a nine to five where i can't be home when my kids are sick or if i'm having like a day where i really need to rest for my mental health sake i i don't want to have to go into an office and it just started to like stir up this feeling like i need something different i need something bigger and so I started working to secure clients. And so if you, by the way, are like, how in the world do you secure clients? I personally found the majority of my clients on LinkedIn, but if you actually comment the word client on this video, you can actually get this awesome uh, entire freebie I put together. It's 80 ways to find a client and most of them are free or cheap, which is really, really powerful. And if you go through these, you're gonna find clients, which is really exciting. So I literally started securing clients clients and it didn't take long after about six months of securing clients while still in my full-time nine to five I was like oh my gosh and I, I went home to Paul and I was like Paul I just secured the final client that replaced my income and I was like this is absolutely mind-blowing I was like we just replaced my entire income and so it was a little bit of a scary moment for us that leap from nine to five to doing this on my own and I was of course like is this normal? Is this safe? Is this okay? Is my life going to fall apart? Are we going to end up bankrupt? Um, but Paul stayed in his nine to five. And so what I did then is I worked to secure a few more clients. And just a few months later, I had replaced his nine to five income and it was time to bring him home. And that was one of the most surreal days ever. In fact, I don't always share this, but I had this massive breakdown the day that he was supposed to come home and I drove to his work and I like went and, and sat at his desk and I was like, babe, I need you to tell them you were just kidding. Like, you can't leave your nine to five. I can't be responsible for like taking care of both of our incomes. This is so scary. But at the same time, there was this beautiful moment of leaping from the known and jumping and not knowing if there was a safety net because we had built up an entire business. And so I was absolutely terrified of my mind. And I'm so glad he was so calm in that moment because I'm literally like, no, tell them you were just kidding. Like, stay in your nine to five, please. Cause I'm not, I don't want to be responsible for our entire family so scary but at the same time I had no idea how amazing the journey was going to become and actually in our first year of being full-time we generated over a hundred thousand dollars in uh, revenue which at that point was still income and it was absolutely life-changing for our family and we've now gone on to continue to build our agency we've worked with clients from around the world we've worked with um, clients that have made um, millions multi-millions uh, even close to billions but not quite yet um, and, and and it's been an incredible process but the first real step was seeing do I have what it takes do I have the grit and the tenacity to work to secure clients and the truth of the matter was yes the only thing holding me back was myself and so I want to support you guys in finding clients if that's what you want whether you're a graphic designer whether you are a funnel builder a social media manager no matter what it is that you do I have an incredible freebie for you guys and that is 80 ways to find a client because when you're going through that season I remember just frantically searching like how do I find clients how do I secure clients where can I find clients and I was constantly looking for it I was like this is uh, who has the secret and just so you guys know that information we've put together so that I can support people who are in that similar journey or maybe now you're full time in it and you're like what comes next like what is the next step how do I find clients how do I secure revenue slash income and so I if you guys comment on this video client I will give you that 80 ways to find a client and I know it's gonna be incredibly impactful for you because I went through that season of wondering how is this all gonna work out and it's kind of scary so I hope that that inspires and supports you guys in the growth if you can secure one client you can secure another if you can secure five clients why not secure ten um, or if you're like you know what I just want to secure a client maybe it's to help pay for groceries or to pay your mortgage awesome so that resource is there for you guys just comment on this video and then you will get access to that but I wanted to share that part of the story because I think it's so important your story is important um, you never know who's listening and who needs to hear it in any given day and so I wanted to share this with you guys as well as that awesome resource so go have an amazing day you're all incredible I will catch you guys later don't forget to comment on this video so you get access to the 80 ways to find a client. Bye guys.